The Tiger Cats are hosting Saskatchewan tonight in a virtual must win for the Tabbies if they want to claim the final playoff spot in the East. Matt Ingram is live at Tim Hortons Field and joins us with more. Matt. Taz, it's a must win game really for the Rough Riders and for the Tie Cats to give them the best chance of making the playoffs. So lots on the line already. Fans are pretty jacked up. It's obviously not too many people here. Game's still an hour away. The Tie Cats are number three in the East right now. And with only four games left to go, every play tonight has the potential to be season changing. Now, Tie Cats fans will be happy. Star kick returner Lawrence Woods is back in the lineup. He's coming off the six game injured list. Um, but this game, as significant as it is, as important important it is to the fans not the only reason I'm here. I'm here to tell you a very special story about a former CHCH News broadcaster who due to his failing health hasn't been able to come to a game in years until tonight. He's going to be here with his wife thanks to the work of a charitable organization called the Chartwell Foundation. Now for me, the shelf life on this one-man army has expired. One and a half reels out of five, and that's my look through the lens. Alex Reynolds, CHCH News. From movie reviews to interviewing international stars of stage and screen, CHCH entertainment reporter Alex Reynolds did it all in his decades-long broadcast career. We went to New York. We went to Hollywood. I remember a memorable time going to Paris for a week. But I miss work. I miss working with you guys at... Channel 11, that, 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 that was so meaningful for me. I loved what I did. He made friends with singer Harry Belafonte. We would see each other a lot, and we just automatically clicked. And was the only Hamilton reporter selected to interview Luciano Pavarotti when the tenor was in town. He has a real passion for the performing arts. I talked to a lot of very famous people, and, and I found them to be very forthcoming. He also developed a real passion for Tiger Cat football, thanks to his wife Eileen who introduced him to the sport and with whom he went to thousands of games with over the years. Seen some great games over the years and sat in terrible weather, but didn't matter as long as the cats could play and, and win. They met while Reynolds was judging a Hamilton beauty pageant in the late 50s. She was the reigning Miss Canada at the time. I was just struck by her. She ended up working at the radio station in Brantford where he worked. And the rest is history, as they say. Married 61 years, sharing a love wrapped in a yellow and black bow that eventually included their son, Will. But failing health made it more difficult to keep their season tickets, so they haven't been to a game since 2014 and didn't think they would again until now. The Chartwell Foundation kind of organized this. They, they, mom and dad won a wish from them, uh, and their wish was go to a Ticat game. Chartwell Retirement Residences has just launched a charitable organization called the Chartwell Foundation, which is granting wishes to seniors who apply. Any senior is eligible, not just those living in a Chartwell Retirement Residence, and Alex and Eileen are some of the first selected. And the foundation has organized everything, the transportation, the nursing staff that they need to make sure that they're safe. Will, along with his wife and daughter, will accompany them, making tonight a very special family outing. Alex says he's elated and grateful and says despite the poor performing cats this season, he's predicting a Tiger Town win. I just have a feeling the cats will come out of this one because uh, they're embarrassed more than anything. I think. It's a wish come true for a Hamilton icon and his beautiful wife. Thank you for this. I appreciate the interview. Alex Reynolds, CHCH News. Alex, on behalf of CH, we wish you all the best tonight and say we all we all miss you. I never even worked with you and I'm already missing you. But as for the game tonight, I should say that Hamilton's coming off a bye week, so they should be pretty well rested. While the, uh, the Rough Riders, they lost to the Blue Bombers 31-13 in Week 17 action. Louis Bucko is going to be up later in the hour with sports. He's going to have much more in the game. Kickoff happens tonight in Tigertown, 730.